Okay, I won't leave you guys waiting any longer. Thanks for turning up. Wow, you guys turned up really fast. I appreciate it. Of course. And so, to make up for something I left out last time, I'm going to straight away give Tim his due here. I need you guys to check out Tim's work. He's online. Okay, cool. Guys, go here. This is, he's a, an amazing videographer and musician, and it's just his stuff, his video stuff is creative and fun and just really broad in palette. And, um, and also, he, uh, he has a way of working in humor into his videos, which is really, hard to do and he pulls it off really well so I'm gonna start right off with this link it's transition cat this is his YouTube I hope this is okay Tim <laughs> all right if I do this I know you're there that's right I'm plugging you without your permission this is what sure why not yeah and this is what it looks like. This is his channel. So. <laughs> yeah, I'm putting the pressure on you. Because you can handle it. Um, yeah, if... Benny, I, I know you're there. I can see you lurking. So, it's lo-fi. Yeah. Oh, I know. That's what I love about it. It's great stuff. Go well, check it out. <laughs> you did. Oh, that's great. I I don't want you to be injured in lunging for <laughs> for your earbuds to catch me. Plus, also, I kind of whenever I start streaming. There's a there's a good con, uh, cushion of a you know five or six minutes or something. How long have we been on? Oh, we've been on for 13 minutes already. So yeah, there's a big cushion of time where nothing really happens. I'm I'm uh, writing things down and taking notes and setting things up and making sure that the sound levels are okay. And also, I jump, I do some sort of uh, I Instagram. I throw something up on Instagram just to let people know that I'm on now. But anyway, yeah. Hi, guys. Cool to see you. Um, yeah. Tim, Fenny, I think you guys know each other from last time, maybe? Maybe, maybe not. Um, yeah. So let's, um, that's, that's Tim's YouTube channel. So check it out. The link is up there. If you didn't get it the first time, then all right, so that's that. Um, all right, to <clears throat> today. Today is um, kind of a retrospective of a of a album project that I did in 2013, and I was in the midst of a huge. Um, Writer's block problem, and I think it had been an, oh, it'd been a while since I'd done anything. I might have done an album, uh, but I wanted to try something, and it was coming to the end of the year, 2012, and my friend Colin Dunn, who is um, who was the lead singer of the band that I was in, Cuttlefish, had gone back to Canada and. I think at the time maybe he was living in San Francisco. Maybe that's maybe that's more accurate, but and he had this great idea. He's an artist also, he's a graphic artist and a cartoonist and just amazing. And also really funny. His stuff is really funny. Uh he had the idea of doing a a, a drawing every day for 2013 that he was it was maybe had something to do with his uh art class that he was teaching but he decided that he was going to do it and at the, at the time we were on 
something called WordPress. You guys remember WordPress? And it was a great kind of d diary blog format thing, you know, Word, Word, WordPress. And so uh, we, he was going to share his paintings, his drawings on that. And he thought that he, would, might, he might do a song to accompany his drawings. So I thought, oh, that's what I need to do. I need to do a song every day. And one of the things that you're supposed to do to stave off uh, writer's block, uh, they say, is to try to do something every day, but uh, that's easy to get, it's easy to kind of sideline, to get to sideline yourself because it, that's a lot of pressure to, to have to do something every day. But unless you give yourself the stipulation of you give yourself permission to make garbage, basically. So you're giving yourself permission to, as long as you do something, just do it. And it doesn't have to be even up to your standards of excellence or the standards of, of, of showing it to someone else. You have to take that leap. And for a lot of people, it's really hard to do. And for me, it was really hard to do uh, at first to do something that and put it out there to the public that wasn't my best stuff. But the point of it is to do something every day. So once I got over that, I was fine. And, and Colin was right in on it. So, and we worked together for years before that. So I trusted him and everything. So we kind of did this in tandem. We each did it. Uh, and he ended up doing uh, not only drawings every day but he did songs every day too um and they're amazing they're, they're just they're so cool and he was collecting instruments throughout the year he had a little like wind organ in his apartment and he had a banjo at some point and ukuleles and he was just doing all kinds of stuff and i was doing my thing here uh and so without further ado we're just going to get right into that so there will be one song for every day of 2013 <clears throat> in order. So it starts off with a, a kind of song message to Colin at, at, because uh, he had just posed the idea. So you can kind of see, okay, where, where there's this picture in the center, it's um, sometimes, this is the album cover that's used in the, for the album. If there's a uh, track art, it'll pop up there. But if there, if I didn't have time to to do unique track art for each song, then it'll revert back. It'll default to this this image. So some of them have, you know, unique track art, but some some don't. And where I was, where I had time enough to to put the lyrics in, you'll see them pop up next to it. So here we go. This is the first one. Is everyone doing, everyone doing okay? Should we start? Yeah, why not? Dear Colin, I like your idea of writing a new song every day in 2013. I'd like to respond in kind If you do not mind Yeah, I would say that that's probably the last time I made a song using that 6415 chord progression that I rail on all the time. Do you know what I'm talking about? That 6415 progression that we hear in every pop song now. So Oh, okay, yeah, so yeah, go ahead and eat. You know, do, do what you gotta do. <laughs> you must eat. So, yeah, and, and it was just picked up the guitar, turned it on, and that was my first go. And it was a message to Colin saying, yeah, all right. So here's, the, here's day two. Okay, I did one. And it was fun. But it's the 3rd of January So I've got two more to catch up on
Yeah, so this kind of shows that, okay, I didn't actually do a song every day. Sometimes I did two or three to catch it. In the beginning, I had to catch up. It's the 3rd of January, 2013. And it's really, really, really cold. Or so I am told, because I ain't been out there. We might go buy books today. I said we might go buy books today. To read this winter. Usually I put a stinger on the end of that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So it doesn't have to be anything. It doesn't have to be any, it could be 10 seconds long. I just, you just do something. Um, and sometimes I, if I really didn't have time, I would make up for it. And I, and I said it was okay. Cause it's my rules. <laughs> it's not a write a song every day. Exactly. If I skip a day, that means I got to do two tomorrow. And that's it. I ended up with something like 370 songs or something like that. Uh, and some of them were just so, were so ridiculously awful, or they had things in it that I listened to and went, I can't, I can't publish this. It's, you know, or, you know bad language or something like that, or just dumb, too dumb. Uh, then I would say, all right, my penalty is I have to do. I choose something that I did before. So sometimes I did three or four and you know, use them as backup. So yeah, so it's, it's not actually forcing myself to do something every day, but I did think about it every day. But the point is work consistently and uh, keep at it. And don't worry if it's too, if it's, you know, below your standard. Yeah, so that's just a whatever song. Here we go. Just read a Facebook share about a mom who bought her son a new iPhone. But she had a thousand rules about how he should use it. Like, I will always know your password and you should never take it out and use it in public. Swallow it, stick it in an orifice and set it on fire. When you find out that your mother is over parenting you, yeah, there's no need to, you know, make an epic symphony every time you do something, right? Oh, so we can see the horn that I played for this one, okay? So you leave in the bad notes too. Dumb joke. In 1994, you and Cox auditioned for the role of Monica Geller on Friends. Yeah, I love I love Nancy McKeon. Of course she got it, but you were cool about it. Because you are awesome. Throughout the 80s, you were Joel Polchak on the great show called Facts of Life. Cause you're awesome Yeah, you are awesome You're Nancy McKeon 
and you're my first stage and screen crush. Cause you're awesome. and rocked on that show yeah i wasn't into the joe or blair or you know the others i i just joe she was tough she was cool she might punch you in the face i just loved her that early early big crush Yeah, that last song was just uh, my friend Minsu, who was the bass player of our band. Uh, he took off to Germany to study photography, so that was my farewell song to him. Uh, in Korean, English, and German. So that's what that, that mess was. get a little weird it takes a lot to quench the fire yeah i just watched that movie when Not i saw it when i made this makes it out everyone's mistaken there is no Yeah, that was my take on the movie um, Streetcar Named Desire. As I was driving around in Chicago, I noticed a very strange thing. I noticed how easy it was to get a parking ticket, and how much easier it was to pay it. It's a conflict of interest. They seem to want us to break the rules that they have made. interest of the city that we all broke the rules we had to break the rules if we didn't they wouldn't get paid well i realize they have other sources of income like taxes and stuff but uh, at 20 to 50 dollars per ticket that's that would be bad if no one broke the law it would be bad for them Oh yeah, Obser- uh, observing how you know rigged the system is. <laughs> you know, Colin, 
Every time someone realizes the game is rigged, a dead anarchist gets their wings. So it's a little dialogue between me and Colin, and his, his song from that day makes sense in that context. of them just for fun but I don't think that's cool no I don't think that's cool so I'm gonna stop doing impressions of my friends I'm sorry I don't think I would like if it was done to me so according to the golden rule I'm gonna stop I don't really remember doing that one <laughs> I just found a plus four axe from my fighter with max dot stat so on or smashing up. Okay, if Tim's still there, um that previous song about about um here about not making fun of my or not imitating my friends. Uh I think I was doing I was doing um the the one the person I thought of you might know, uh Kurt. Kurt Guff. I used to do impressions of Kurt, and I, I felt bad because I don't think he would like. I don't know if he would have liked that. I was doing it lovingly, but he's really easy to imitate. I'm not going to do it now because I decided I wasn't going to do that anymore. But that was Kurt. Um, so I, I I I didn't like who I didn't like me doing that to other people. So I stopped. <laughs> anyway. I just found a plus four axe from my fighter with max dot stat so on orc smashing on Monday afternoon. Won't go to work today because all I want to do is sit around and play games. Orc smashing on Monday afternoon. Skyrim Neverwinter Nights, Dungeon Siege 3, Dragon Age 2, Dragon's Dogma. Baldur's Gate, I've got no friends outside the game. My mom tells me I've gone insane because I'm work smashing on a Monday afternoon. Yeah. Uh, Misan is my wife's name. And she just. Uh, she was about to quit her job at this time because they weren't paying her. There's not enough money in the world to make her stay under your thumb. Did you think that she would stay? Did you think that she would stay? making her all these offers of that of money that we knew they were never going to give her so she quit I don't so. hate your friends I don't judge your friends it just makes me sad just makes me sad. I don't even remember what that one's about. <laughs> Wisconsin, it's a song for my dad. Dad, 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 it's a song for my dad. I'm gonna sing the lyrics real clear. Enunciate so you can all 
understanding here that I'm gonna kick those guitars into gear. Just like that. Dad, dad, dad. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Dad, dad, dad. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Dad, dad, dad. Hi, dad. Hi, dad. Goes out to senior. Love you, buddy. That was so dumb. <laughs> oh, yeah, January is tax day, tax month for Korea. Oh, thanks, Tim. Fuzzy bass. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, I'm waiting for it. Tax refund. Sing it with me. to know more than I know but you don't you just have a skill that I don't and that's the ability to conduct any conversation to the subject of something that you yourself have studied I don't think that's fair because we all have our areas of expertise and it sucks that people like you swing the conversation to your wheelhouse but we're not going to resist because we are okay with learning something and not taking center stage like you do are you with me yeah i hate it when people do that oh hey man did you hear about that new study being done about the effects of space radiation on astronauts it's pretty wild Oh yeah, speaking of radiation, did you know that Peter Parker became Spider-Man because of a radioactive spider bite? Coincidence? I think not. Hey man, on March 2nd, 1962, Wilt Chamberlain broke the NBA scoring record. He scored 100 points against the New York Knicks. 1962, yeah, that's when the first Spider-Man comic appeared. Okay, I should probably mention why that one. Uh, so me and Colin Dunn are doing this kind of back and forth. And at this point, he was doing a lot of songs that had to do with Spider-Man. And they were really cool. They were, I mean, Colin is crazy about Spider-Man. He, I think he wanted to be Spider-Man. And uh, so I just because just taking the piss, I just I was kidding him, just kind of teasing him about that. So that's where this one came up, like implying that. Every conversation ends up being about Spider-Man, <laughs> which is totally not, but it's not, you know, it was fun. Anyway, yeah, take the piss out of your friends sometimes. Hi, boys and girls. Let's play Semantic Satiation. Semantic Satiation is a game when you say a word over and over and over again until it loses its meaning. <clears throat> Let's try button. Button, 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 button. Button, 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 button. Very good. Now let's try gift. Gift, 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 gift. See, I have no idea what that word means anymore. Let's try bowl. 
ぼうぼうぼうぼうぼうぼうぼうぼうぼうぼうぼうぼうぼうぼうぼうぼうぼうぼうぼうぼうぼうぼうぼうぼうぼうぼうぼうぼうぼうぼうぼうぼうぼうぼうぼうぼうぼうぼうぼうぼうぼうぼうぼうぼうぼうぼうぼうぼうぼうぼうぼうぼうぼうぼうぼうぼうぼうぼうぼうぼうぼう Okay, game over. Yeah, it's clear that I didn't know what spot. It, it didn't know that it was pronounced sputum. Yeah, now I do. <laughs> But I didn't at the time. Come on, Bethesda. PS3, DLC, Skyrim. Make it happen. PS3. Anytime there was a sound outside, they would bark like that. I grew up in a culture at a time when nerds were at the bottom of the social food chain. But times have changed since then. It has been said that the geek shall inherit the earth.
Okay, that one holds out pretty holds up pretty well. I, I kind of like that one. This is based on a drawing that you can kind of see by Colin. So if I didn't have ideas, I'd just look at his drawing and write a song about it. Alleluia, atmosphere. Alleluia, RNA. Alleluia, cells. Alleluia, protozoa. Alleluia, fungi. Alleluia, mollusks. Alleluia fish Alleluia beetle Alleluia dinosaur Alleluia bee Alleluia bird Alleluia mammoth Alleluia ape This is another one of Colin's drawings. See how great it is? It's hilarious. He just did these in his notebook. Exactly what I'm doing. I'm surfing on the edge of a building. Don't worry about me, Mr. Bird. I know exactly what I'm doing. Surfing on the edge of a building. Don't worry about me. 
Well, I think I should mention that um, it's a lot easier to do a project like this when you have someone else kind of doing it in tandem with you because then you can kind of bounce ideas off each other and stuff. So it's kind of a collaboration too. Uh, it made it way easier to, to come up with stuff even in, when there's no time. So if you're gonna try something like this, with writing or music or art or something, I highly recommend finding someone to team up with and do it in tandem. So it's a lot more fun. And you kind of support each other when it, because at the time it didn't seem like anyone was listening. Uh, it, it, so I could at least count on Colin listening to it. Um, sometimes my family, sometimes my friends. But you, you can't count on them. <laughs> Just <laughs> choose someone uh, to do it with. It's good, good insurance policy. Watching TV and he died. Stayed up too late watching TV and he died. So his parents sold his couch on Kijiji. To you. fatal wounds are to the head and a broadsword up the wazoo but you should see the other guy ha 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 there's a smoke pot and there's ones that don't mean anything at all Magical. He pukes magic. He claims his eyebrows have split ends and might be a problem in elevator doors. He's scary. How much? Very, very. Cause he's got the key to your apartment He's gonna barf magic residue all over your carpet Yeah, he's scary How much? Very, very Snow day. 
chances aren't coming Snap. <laughs> yeah, I, it annoys me. Yeah. Not much of a capitalist, I guess. I'm going to let this go and get some more coffee. Five, five minutes, it not take very long. Five minutes, write this song I got. Five minutes, five, five minutes, to write this song I got. Five minutes, five, five minutes, it won't be very long. Won't be very long. Ding dong, time's up. Y'all had five minutes, five, five minutes. Quick and dirty. Let's talk about Valentine's Day. Let's talk about Valentine's Day, shall we? Oh, my favorite Valentine's Day was 1995. Me and my single friends, Ivan, Delena, McKinley, and me, went to a restaurant and we ordered food and we laughed at the happy romantic people. And then we got all crazy drunk. So
So we were at the beach bar And we had a little disagreement My friend doesn't like Bob Dylan And I don't like the Fleet Foxes So later on we agreed To listen to an album That exemplified the disliked artist Not just a song But a focused headphone listen After we did that We came away with somewhat changed minds So I highly recommend Listening to albums that your friends like It's fair And at least you'll know more About what you're talking about Yeah, we were in that we were in that reggae band and uh yeah we were just sitting around the bar and on she, February fifteenth, she twenty thirteen, uh, well, a no, large no, meteorite flared through the sky in broad daylight over Chelyabinsk, Russia. And impacted near a town, shattering windows, setting off car alarms for miles. witnessed it from their automobiles panicked. They calmly murmured curious expletives and kept on driving. They just kept on driving. It's okay, but for them, it's not. It's enough for us. For them, it's a lot. For her, it's a sin, but for him, he's just being a player. It's a sin. For man, but for her, it's funny. It's okay, it's not. for stopping by tim um i don't know how much longer i'll be on but if i don't catch you take care thanks for joining some days it seems that everyone has given up
Some days it seems that the whole world is done And they don't know what to do And they don't know what to do Some days I feel like giving up And I don't know what to do And I don't know what to do Okay, I have to tell something about that. Um, that song, uh, at the time, uh, my dad was listening to, to these. And um, my dad is a, uh, politically conservative, and I am not. And so when I was writing this song, I was commenting about thinking that, you know, uh, I was commenting about how I, I was kind of lamenting how conservative politics were you know ruining the country and everything and uh i didn't specifically say that in the song but when my dad heard it he said oh my god i know exactly what you mean and he didn't mean it ironically or sarcastically he was he heard this and thought this is exactly how i feel how he felt about he you know about liberal politicians ruining the country um, so I thought that was really interesting, um, that, you know, it, and it's right. It, that's right. I mean, the, both sides, the left and the right listen, uh, are feeling the same things about each other. It's kind of, um, you know, we're, we're think we're saying things about them and they're saying things about us. They're saying basically we're having the same problem with each other. So I thought that was really interesting. It, it didn't lead to a fight or anything. It was just, I just thought, wow, that's, uh, wow. We don't, we don't usually think of politics that way, but that's how it works. That's how it does. So, okay, the next thing, I, I, I'm seeing the list of the songs coming up, and the next one is called Old Young Island. And there's this, I used to live on this small island, which is very connected to, by a bridge to uh, Greater Busan, which is called Yongdo. And uh, Tim's not on anymore, but he, he, he would know it. I used to live on. I used to live there when I first came to Korea uh, in the early days, and uh, 2001. So I wrote a song about Young Island, Young Do, and uh, actually, this was the only song that I made a video for during this year. I must have had some time. So, and I have that video. So instead of playing the audio clip, I'm going to play the video of it. Uh, where is that? Okay, I know. All right. All right, I find it. I found it. I'm going to put it up, and we're going to listen to... So what, what you're going to be watching here is I just... I filmed recording it. So what you're hearing is what you're seeing. It's, there's, it's not overdubbed. It's overdubbed, but um, you're seeing the different overdubs in the cuts. <clears throat> so that's all me. So here we go, of course. There's that. Okay. I don't... Goodness, that's not... Oh, that's better. All right. So he... I hope this sounds right. Okay, here we go. Full screen. Okay. Oh. Yeah. 
has changed very little But all it's got is a little bit soft in the middle Oh, Young Island smells of cigarettes and beer Cigarettes and beer Oh, Young Island has it been ten Okay, how about the mutton mustache, <clears throat> the motorhead, the lemmy? <laughs> All right. Well, that was fun. Um, a little distraction. So that was me actually doing it at that time. So, but that's the only video I made, I think, from that period. So, carrying on. <clears throat> so that was February 21st. So we're actually coming up on... I think what I'll probably do is stop at today in 2000. So I've got a couple more songs. What's that? This is the 22nd. You want to know what I do for a minute? And this is just silly, goofy. You can come up to my face and ask me what I do for a living. You sleep at night soundly because of what I do for a living. Don't you ever forget it, boy. Yeah, so the albino sewer gator patrol was just from that that cartoon that paint the picture he drew um just called albino sewer gator patrol on duty and so i came up with his voice and that's what his theme song would be <laughs> so that was fun that was colin dunn's uh, picture Okay, so we so that song we just heard was um, from February twenty third, and here in Korea it's oh well uh, okay I can't stop now. Yo ho ho! Look who it is! It's our old friend, Ethan Izzy. It's Ethan Izzy. How's it going, man? It's really great to see you. Okay, I was going to stop it here just because we ended the 2013 retrospective daily song project on today's date, the 23rd. It's 23rd for me. I know it's not for you. But, but now I'm going to keep going because you're here. Simple as that. We, we continue. Which I didn't really want to really stop anyway. Um. No, 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 no. I want to keep going. It's only 1030 in the morning here. So we're going to keep going. Um, so this song, so that was a good dream. And so the, we're going to go on to the 24th song. Okay, so. Who do you answer to, girl? I answer to nobody, boy. Who do you answer to, boy? 
I answer to nobody, girl. Okay, I might have to reprise something um, for for Izzy, uh, just because I think it's just us. I, I, Benny is here, but I think she's uh, multitasking. So, um, just because you just did you miss the video that I played? That I just played of me doing it, of of me writing a song, recording a song. Did you see that? Or did you come after that? You saw it. I don't know what you're saying yes to. <laughs> Did you see the video I played? Uh, yeah, that's okay. I can wait. You're worth the wait. Okay, all right, good. Uh so I'll play I'll play um This is from uh in the sequence. I just played it along the sequences. It's just the only video that I made during that year um of me doing this project. So it's called Old Young Island. It's only a minute long, so it's not a whole lot again. So this is here we go. Put it up. Up, oh, there it is. Okay. All right, here we go. Oh, your island sits there quiet and still. Oh, your island, we're gonna climb up that hill. It's changed a lot, it has changed very little. But all it's got is a little bit soft in the middle. Oh, young island smells of cigarettes and beer. Cigarettes and beer. Oh, young island has it been ten years? Right, featuring my handlebar mustache, my mutton mutton chops. I think I might grow those out again. I think that would, yeah, <laughs> it's me with mutton chops. <laughs> oh boy, yeah, I, I kind of like them. I might grow it back. Kind of scares my wife, but um, <laughs> that's fun. <laughs> so yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad I can play that. So, all right, just keeping going, metallic ahead. Yeah, I'm, it, it makes me look way scarier than I actually am. I'm a pretty benign fellow, um, but that, that kind of makes people go, oh, is this guy a badass? The answer is no, not, I'm not. I just look like one. <laughs> see the wedding. Okay, this is one of my favorites. Okay, here we go. Everyone came back to see the wedding. David Scraggs had really short hair. Angry Steve told the story of his nickname. There were four bartenders at a single table. The boy sang well, the sauna played well. Vegetarian. 
and nurunji tang is very delicious and i'll it's nurunji tang is basically a soup made out of well there's soup stock and there's um the the substance of the soup is you know when uh, koreans have this thing of it's called nurungji where you you when you cook rice in a you know, traditionally it's like in a stone bowl um and it 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 sticks to the it bakes to the side of the stone bowl but when you get down to the bottom of it, it you get to the crunch, crispy crunchy kind of burnt rice not it's not burned it's uh it's just hardened on the side and when you eat it it's so delicious it's so good it's called nurungji and they make a little soup out of it it's called nurungji tang and it softens it up it's just delicious um so that's that's where i first had nurungji tang <laughs> um and this painting that you're seeing here is by my friend isn't it it's korean food you know don't get me started it's awesome um at the time um, my friend who used to live in Korea and then he moved to, um, you know, he's kicking it in Hawaii and he's a fantastic artist and we're seeing an example of his painting here and I love this style and I'm, I, this is my favorite style of, of abstract art and um, he does stuff like this, but he also, oh, I know, I know he's poor, yeah, poor Jared. Uh, but what he, I think what he really likes to do is paint, is painting uh, photorealistic and large scale photorealism. And it's just incredible. You look at it and you go, no, that's a photograph. It's a photograph. No way. And you ha he actually has to prove that he painted it by showing photographs of him painting it before you believe that it's uh, not a photograph. Yeah. Just incredible stuff. And this is a, so I, I saw this painting of his on his website, and I thought, uh, I'm going to write something on that. So that's what this is. song this one is for me son Nim I hope your day is awesome as awesome as you be cause it's your birthday so here is the deal if you listen to someone sing 
happy birthday in reverse you will age in reverse here goes Ui, ut yed therb ipanas im read yed therb ipa oi ut yed therb ipa oi ut yed therb ipa Congratulations, you've just aged in reverse. You're welcome. Sengil chuka chuka yobo chagi. Saranghayo. Scumbag of the universe, that's me. So wrong, so perverse. You can't judge me. Judging up the wrong tree Believe me You can't leave me alone, scumbag Gotta pick up the phone, scumbag You can't take me Yeah, you know, you know Deerhoof? I love Deerhoof. Yeah, you nailed it. I am crazy about Deerhoof. They're, I think they're the best band in the world. Tough today. Oh, that's, that's my wife. It wasn't your hole in one. It was not the gourmet dinner. someone around you is, is having a birthday just make them a make them a birthday song on that day so there are about at least five or six birthday songs on this on this year my dad my mom i think my brother uh, colin dunn the, the guy I'm doing this with. yeah deer hoof deer hoof is so amazing Izzy's birthday tomorrow. Twenty-third of February, huh? Genoa, Illinois, Grace Gate crashing douchebag. Genoa, Illinois, Grace Gate crashing douchebag. Genoa, Illinois, Grace Gate crashing douchebag. He grabbed my mom's butt on the dance floor. He tried to make a speech, but he said that he forgot it. No one was really sure whose uncle he was, and I'm pretty sure no one will ever forget him. Cause he was Genoa, Illinois, Grace Gate, Cash, and Douchebag. I can't say it. He was Genoa, Illinois, Grace Gate, Crash, and Douchebag. There, I said it. He was Genoa, Illinois, Grace Gate, Crash, and Douchebag. He was Genoa, Illinois, Grace Gate, Crash, and Douchebag. 
know Illinois race get crashed and goose back. You know Illinois race get crashed and goose back. You know Illinois race get crashed and goose back. And he was a douchebag. Yeah, a little little thin on ideas there. That's all. <laughs> it was just a tadpole. The albino gator got flushed down the toilet by Abe Lincoln. That son of a bitch. The albino sewer gator can make himself small. It was an evolutionary mutation. God wouldn't stoop to creating such a blasphemy upon his earth. The albino sewer gator is what really killed Elvis in his own bathroom. That son of a bitch. The albino sewer gator. Oh, I appreciate that Still reference. out there. Oh, yeah. That kind of gritty, you know... Stay yeah, away. I know what you mean. Stay away, Mr. Tox Stay away, stay away now. Stay away, stay away. Mr. Man, IRS man. IRS man. Get away from my door. And my window too. And my window too. Don't come to take my pay away. Take my pay away. You. Get away, get away from my door. I know what my heart has done for. I am scared of you. Mr. the time to collect her. Tax collector. Stay away, stay away. Mr. IRS man. Some of this is so goofy and wrong. <laughs> Just have to let it be it. And I was being egged on by my friend Colin, who was doing this at, you know, in tandem. Uh, so we were kind of trying to crack each other up day by day. But some say it's tomorrow. Yeah, this kind of project is much more fun when you have so someone to do it with in tandem because then you can bounce stuff. I said this earlier, but before you came, I almost think it'll never ever happen today, but it's coming. Yeah, you can hear a drummer practicing in an adjacent room. And I added the voice later, of course. Yeah, 
yeah, now you guys see what what a real nutcase I am. <laughs> I used to go up to the roof of my building and have a beer and just look out over the ocean and just talk to my phone and plan my attack on the world. <laughs> it was a uh, yeah, good alone time. So, and then they locked the door and I couldn't, uh, couldn't do it anymore. So, oh well, found another place. Every, int every introvert needs their escape, right? That was mine. For sure, right? I mean, they always, there's very easy to access usually. And yeah, all you have to do is deal with the Please other people who know about it to go up there to smoke. <laughs> it's so, the only one yeah, that I tops. got. Until they lock them up. Please don't hate on my voice. I know it kind of sucks a lot It goes out of tune Sometimes it gets gritty I do my best and I know it ain't pretty So please don't hate on my voice Cause it's the only one that I got Please don't hate on my voice I know it ain't my strongest suit Strongest suit Please don't hate on my voice. It ain't gonna make no one any loot. Oh, yeah. I doubt I'll ever really learn how to sing. But an ugly voice can say a beautiful thing. So please don't hate on my voice. After all, it is the spokesperson of me. That's right. And I really try to stay in key. Don't, so, don't so cry. That's my little send up to Alf, uh, what's his name, Randy Newman. <laughs> Sounds like Randy Newman. <laughs> very, very corny. Don't worry, I'm clean. It's just that some of my clothes are older than you are. I'm a fashion refugee. I'm a thrift store shopping. You're too nice. <laughs> and I think new styles are stupid anyway. Fashion refugee. Some of these tunes made it to future albums, uh, and this is one of them. I ended up cleaning it up a bit. Recycle it. I can do that. You can plagiarize yourself.
Yeah, that high note up there is, I think, pretty sure it's a wine glass with water on the edge, you know. Broken Maybe I should text her again. Okay, um, this is, uh, Broken Man is, um, this was a one panel comic drawn by uh, Colin Dunn, who I'm referring to, he's the guy I was doing this in tandem with, who's my buddy. He was the lead singer of Cuttlefish, okay, so you know his voice. He's also an excellent, excellent cartoon artist and just artist in general. And this was one of his daily drawings that he made. Uh, and it's a recurring character in, in his, uh, it was a recurring character in his blog and everything. Broken Man. Um, I'm sure it's a bit autobiographical. And so Broken Man uh, is trying to get his, he's trying to win the affections of uh, his yeah, uh, his love interest. And um, I think the woman that he's writing this about uh, is the one that he married. And so they're together today, I should say. Broken Man wins in the end. So I just uh, did this tune based on his character, Broken Man. I love how Broken Man is a superhero, and that's a superpower, being... <laughs> Utterly broken. <laughs> okay, here we go. Broken man. Maybe I should text her again. Broken man. She may not have gotten my first one. Gotta love Broken Man. Game time is almost now. Turn it on, get it on, game on. Work done, it's time for fun. Turn it on, get it on, game on. It's time to be awesome. Time to be it's awesome. time to Myself at an impasse, but I can't not listen to the words I spoke, to the songs I wrote in the 90s. Haven't I squeezed every last bit of wisdom I could gather 
from those troubled years by now. I just listen again and again and again. I listen. I just listen again and again and again. I listen. Now that we have an audience, uh, Tim, this is Tim's uh, YouTube channel. And if you get a chance, Izzy, check out Tim's stuff. It's really cool. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, it's um, he's been doing stuff for years. And uh, he describes it as uh, lo-fi caveman stuff. But uh, it's so great. It's such a great stuff. Yeah. And it all kind of works. Some the earlier stuff kind of works in with his life in Korea and being in a band. And uh, it's just, it's just, I love it. Good stuff. Very imaginative. Well, well done. Well done stuff. And and somehow it manages to be cool from start to finish. Uh, I don't know how how to do that. But he does it. So cool. That's that's Tim's Tim's thing. your television a disdainful glance and turn it off for just one day it's a start but I guarantee if you don't watch TV at all for one month you'll start to see a brand new world and you will never go back Seeing a brand new world, and you may never go back. Shoot your television, but just turn it off. Leave it off. You see a brand new world, and you may never go back. You may never go back. You may never go back. Never go back. You may never go back. Never go back. Short songs are not so bad. Short songs. I've never been one to outstay my welcome I get to the point, pass the mic along It's the essence of levity The soul of wit is brevity Say what you want, pass it along About chickens is that everything about chickens is funny. 
They look funny, sound this is funny, word for word, walk an funny, email I got from my brother, funny, my brother who's also funny, named Colin. The word so, chicken is funny. He raises chickens in his backyard. What's really hilarious in Madison, is Wisconsin. when they try a running and slip on the ice. It's a great ice fly for a song. And they make a great surprise sound. The only not funny thing about a chicken is the egg. Those are seriously delicious. Okay, Tim, uh, do I have permission to play it on this stream? Or should we watch it at another time? It's up to you. Because I'll play it. <laughs> okay, then. That's fantastic. That's so great. Thank you for that. Oh yeah, that's that's totally worth it to play. <laughs> uh I get I get some of those references. He's talking about at one point he's talking about uh Gyeongsong Day, which is a really cool area. Uh, we used to hang out a lot there. And um yeah. Yeah, Gyeongsong University is talking about KU. Um He's play that song. Okay, yeah. That bar is still there. Um, and Mike Edmonds is now part owner of it. And he's re there keeping it alive. Um, he and, uh, and um, Dong Ha. Yeah. So that bar is still there that used to play that song at. Yeah, that's a great... Uh, <laughs> I, I get those references. Those are those are very cool. I, but I, I can also see why your wife might be kind of like, hmm, I don't think I like that song. <laughs> yeah, that's just, you know, past is in the past. Thanks for sharing that. That's, that's, that was awesome.
All right. Dong Ha. Yeah, he's only got... This is our friend Dong Ha, who used to own and run a bunch of expat-friendly bars. He's, he's only down to a couple now, I think, or maybe just... I think just Old 55 is this bar that he was talking about <clears throat> that still has a... Uh, Thursday night, I think, open mic jam. And that's where a lot of our bands, uh, including Tim's band and my band, kind of got our start. And yeah, it's a... Uh, no, 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 this is the flow. Stuff like that is the flow. Yeah, I, 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 I love it. I love featuring stuff by you guys too. Yeah, so... I'm trying to, it, it's weird because I've got, uh, we've got, I, I, Tim and I have this sort of, in our Venn diagram, we intersect in, in Busan, and then we've got Izzy, who I want, I'd want to, him to be in on what we're talking about, so I'm kind of, yeah. It's, it's a, as host, I have to kind of bridge the gaps a little bit to explain, so, so one party doesn't get bored, right? Anyway, um, yeah, as a fun zone, that was uh, used to see sun come up on many weekends on that in that area. Oh yeah, that was the fun zone, and a lot of hooking up and stuff. It wasn't not me hooking up, but everybody else. <laughs> uh, yeah, good. Try to try to keep the boredom off. Speaking the English. Sprechen Sie Englisch, Ablas, Englisch, or Magyar? Okay. Um, okay, not enough hours. Did I do that? Okay. Okay, here's not enough hours. If there was time, I'd say yes to every project that was put in front of me. Because I want to. But there are just not enough hours in the not day. Not enough hours in the day. You know what I mean? You know what I mean when I say not enough hours in the day. Okay, I'm gonna take a break and get some coffee. Be right Everyone back. Everyone knows that. Not enough hours in the day I would eat everything in sight Because I would have enough time To exercise it all away There's not enough hours in the day There are not enough hours in the day
is entirely possible that our universe is not stable. A wave of annihilation destroying everything in its path. soul I want to be in a band that is not an outreach program I want to be in a band that does not ignore its hometown oh yeah I'm, this song kind of complaining about the band I was in at the time which was uh, One Drop East and yeah I just I had my grievances at the time so I like I love being in that band, but um, it's a reggae kind of soul reggae band, and it kind of were some a couple of the members were more kind of focused on let's make money, and I wasn't into that, I, and I felt like our mission was compromised a little bit with the uh, getting a little greedy, but um, not naming names, but you know. It was, it, it was all right. We're all still friends. Have a manifesto and stick to it. I wanna be in a band. I wanna be in a band. I wanna be in a band.
using innocent guitars. I'm a moody rock and roll caveman, banging on virtual drums and a prison guitar. I wonder who I will alienate today I wonder who I will alienate today Alienate, alienate your phone at the same time If your brain won't let you walk up the stairs and look at your phone At the same time Maybe multitasking I'm always the one stuck behind someone going up the stairs who are slowed down by their staring at their phone and annoys the crap out of me. <laughs> There's a lot of things that annoy the crap out of me. I'm not easy, but uh, yeah. And, but because uh, I'm so nice, I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to push by them. I'm just going to wait. You know what I mean. Um, and maybe you can relate to this too. If someone's coming at you and they're buried in their screen and you're the one that has to divert to miss them, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I would rather bump into them and have them be embarrassed. <laughs> I, I, you can't just expect everybody to part if you're looking at your cell phone while you're walking down the street. Mm -hmm. I mean, yes. No, my phone stays in my pocket while I'm walking. I need new cheese. I need new strings. What? Super Bon Bon is about that? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Which hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta know. Which which song is the one the Super Bon Bon? Super Bon Bon is about what? What I was talking about? Super Bon Bon, Super Bon Bon. I'll wait for Tim to answer. Oh, being nice and evil at the same time? Waiting for Tim <laughs> to answer. Ah. Ah. Oh. Really? Oh. <laughs> well, I guess, my, I guess my rant is in good company then. But you guys know what I'm talking about. Okay, there we go. Tim is in Australia. And Izzy is in... Oh my gosh, are you, are you in Connecticut? You're on the, you're in New England somewhere. I keep forgetting where you are because you have friends all over the Eastern Seaboard and I can't remember which one. New Haven, Connecticut, okay. So, 
Yeah, and I'm in Korea. So we're kind of all over the place. We got the world covered, man. We just need someone in Europe and Africa, and then we'll be set. The sun will not set on any of us, or on all of us. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you guys, you guys chat. I'm going to shut up. And play a song. his nose and dig around till we got something but wait there's more he also decided that it was the right time and place to wipe it on his newspaper thank you for listening to my tale read your next um yeah I'll read, your, I'll read your next message the moment it pops up rainy day song number two not bad RTFN. I did it. The moment it popped up. Rainy day song number two. I didn't think I didn't I didn't time it right I'm an idiot read this instead yes I am reading this now <laughs> does it have to be so long it's just an experiment you could have just said X or something is it did you get a timing I'll do it again if you want 11.76 seconds excellent you got the you got the, the stopwatch out. Excellent. That's not bad. 11.76 seconds, not bad. Yeah. Good things come to those who wait. As, as the saying is. Okay. So. 
All right, lads. Oh, I think it's pretty normal for service like this. For me, it's a 15 second lag before I see my message appear above Gordon's head. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of, I mean, if you consider the, the relative distances, that's about right, isn't it? I mean, Australia's not that far. In fact, I use the Australian server when I play Star Citizen. It's the closest one to me. And, yeah, Connecticut is really freaking far away. Wise man so. say... Nothing Unfortunately, about makes the fool man. Yeah. Because so, um, know. gang, I think we are nearing the end of today's man. session. I don't need it in Just the because gum. it's getting to be about lunchtime, and then I have to go to school and you sign know, my contract. You know, you know. Or like Einstein um, or Benjamin Franklin. So yeah. Wise men say. I'll, wise men say, I'll pop up the. Uh, wise men say nothing about the fool I'll pop up the link again fool. once we walk. Yesterday's fool man. Maybe tomorrow's wise man. Rackety music going on. What am I on next? You know the answer to that. You should know. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'd love to tell you. Um, now that I've got this going, I've got. I know what I'm going to do. Ne going to do next, so, but I'm not going to do tomorrow. I, I'm like you. I, I want. I don't want to do two days in a row. When are you on next? Next week. Yeah, that's a good guess. Him. Yep. Next week is a good guess. So, For our I assume you guys both get notified. Yeah. Get yourselves notified. Okay. I'm just looking for. Instrumentals. I'm just gonna throw up. I'm gonna throw up. No, I'm gonna throw up the link to this massive album that's over nine hours worth of material. Average 58 seconds per song. Oh, Wednesday night. Cool. Is, will it be hours. the birthday? The birthday Twitch? Because I'd love to see you. But enough stats. Next time you're on, I will, I'll, I'll be there, dude. And here in Korea and in Australia, it is the 23rd, which is your birthday. Happy birthday, Beth and Izzy. It looks like we're up to, I should say, April 10th. To April 10th, and we can count the songs. So that's yeah, good. That's a good place to start because that's song 100. Um, let me back up. So that is that is today's show. Yes, old farts unite. Here, here we are on the in the Twitterverse uniting. Thanks for listening to my old stuff. I uh, really appreciate doing this with you guys, um, and I look forward to the next one. You guys take care. Enjoy this. Okay, uh, one of you will enjoy the weather, and the other one, please survive the weather. Um, yeah, yeah, it's more than nine nine hours. I. I calculated it a while ago um but it's between nine and ten hours of, of material they get longer <laughs> they that i noticed that the average the average length of the song is gradually getting longer um, as the year goes on 2013 so we're at song 100 and of 365 songs and that's where we'll pick up the last one Song 101 will kick off the next, the part two. Song 101. Just making notes. 
All right. What did I learn after nine hours? Uh, a lot, actually. Um, I'll let you know at the end. <laughs> yeah. I, I I did learn a lot about... I, I got pretty good at, I think... I, I, I got better at using Cubase and about how to make things sound better and mix, mix better. Um, it wasn't... Just doing something every day, uh, you know, really helps. Uh, actually, after I did this pro this project in 2013, from that from that from 2014 on, I've been making almost exclusively uh, wordless ambient music. So it really changed my style because by the end of that that year, I was doing uh, I was most interested in the ambient stuff. So so I turned a big corner that year. I don't make songs like this anymore. I wish I did. Maybe I will again someday, but we'll see. Anyway. So, uh, yeah, those thumbs on the on the keyboard. Izzy, I hope you're feeling better. I know that you've been um, really tired lately. And uh, I hope, uh, I really hope you, you're well. Because we need you back. We need you back in the Twitterverse. So I'll see you guys. Yeah, we'll see you next time. Take care, guys. Um, I want to show you my... I made all these scenes that I never got to show. That's the beach right now. It's one of the beaches. Eh, weather's okay. Mm, so I'm gonna I'm gonna end I'm gonna end with a video that I just kind of released and it's called Anomaly Two and then then I'll sign off so I'll say goodbye now take care everyone cheers and here we go bye.